and action. Are we on? Oh, huh, we are. <laughs> hey, y'all, what's up? Okay, so I really, really, really wanted to like get on here and just share like something that I've today. Today it just came to me. Okay, so and I'm like I'm getting excited, right? I'm getting excited. There's so much energy. I've like been feeling like this for a while. It's like a goofy type of energy. It's um <laughs> It's just like the, my inner child, okay? It's my inner child. It's that, that, that beautiful, that intense, but it's just exciting energy, okay? Um, and that's why I really wanted to get on here and just like really talk about something that came to my mind today. And it's it's so cool. So have you ever seen the the show, the the movies, High School Musical? And for me like that that was my show okay growing up i was a disney kid like i would watch high school musical hannah montana i was into all those types of shows those were like those were it right and that's where like for me i live my life as if it's a musical so that's why i like i connect with these shows but i wanted to talk about some of the songs in like some of the high school musicals because i believe there's like three high school musical movies and i'm talking about the original i'm not talking about um like because there's there's multiple ones i believe that newer ones that they've created but i'm talking the original with gabrielle with vanessa hudgens zac efron um high school musicals okay um because <laughs> i haven't watched the other high school musicals once you see the original for me like it's really hard to see new actors and so anyways with i was just listening to some of the music again something you know told me to listen to some of the music because i've always like loved that music it just like spoke to spoke to my heart and this is that inner child that inner child energy that i've been feeling but when you listen to some of these songs and you like really like really listen and tap into it and see how i see it like even just watching the movies so high school musical if you haven't seen any of the movies or listen to any of the songs please go check them out and just really listen tune into them and just like try to see a perspective of where i'm coming from so for me when i watch high school musical or when i listen to the songs like it's, it's truly talking about us in general right so the one song stick to the status quo it's pretty much telling a story about how some of us were we're in these certain communities certain cliques you know certain relationships you know you know family dynamics right to where we're we're told a certain way we're shown a certain way we're conditioned to believe a certain way so like in high school musical you have you know the book nerd group you have the jocks you know the basketball team you have the skaters you have you know um those type of groups right and in the in the song stick to the status quo that song it's it's pretty much these people are starting to realize that oh well i also am into this i'm into baking i'm into playing the cello i'm actually into dancing you know and their group is telling them like hey shh, quiet no you're not supposed that's that's not normal that's not okay right and that's literally that's literally how i see the world like you can you can be conformed to a community you can be conformed to where you're you're supposed to be a certain way and this is like society right you're supposed to be a certain way you're supposed to look a certain way and you're supposed to act a certain way because you fit in this box you fit in this category and you're not you're not supposed to go into this other category because that is meant for those people you're meant to be a skater not a cello player okay you can't have both right and so this is how I see the world, right? And it's 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 so amazing to just really have this perspective because for me it's like that's why I really wanted to get on here and share this message because you know possibly this could help somebody else possibly this could inspire somebody else to step out of their comfort zone they're so used to that you know that same job that same environment that same friend group and there's something within them something inside of them that wants to step out and just try something new try something different you know go to a different country and just see what it's like move to a a different a different place in their world take on a different activity a different hobby 
you know they've they've played this hobby they played this sport for so so long but now they they want to change they want to change it up a little bit you know and for me like i've always been that person inside me i've always just wanted to try new things you know I, I never wanted to stick to the status quo right i never wanted to just do one thing like my my biggest passion is music it's always been music but i've always been intrigued with so many other things just like you know creating content videos on youtube creating writing scripts um, i grew up in choir i grew up in theater i grew up doing all these different things I also, you know, that's why I went to school for criminal justice. That's why I trained with the military. That's why I became a firefighter because it was just so interesting and intriguing. And I just wanted to learn a new skill. I wanted to challenge myself, step out of my comfort zone and really see what was possible for me. And I believe anybody and everybody can do this. We're just so distracted or we're, we're afraid, we're stuck in this fear. By the way, that's Abby. She's feeling the energy too. Um, <laughs> and, and, and it's true because at times, like even myself, even when I did these things, I was still stuck in fear. So like when I was doing more of the military training, leadership training, like I still had a passion for music and singing, but I was like in a mindset where it wasn't meant for me anymore. It wasn't something that was I was supposed to go towards. I, you know, and even today, some people like when I say that I'm an artist, right? I'm very creative. And and it's funny, once people start listening to my music, they're like, oh, you're actually good. <laughs> and it's like we have this certain look, right, about us or this certain way or perception where well, if you don't look like this, then you're probably not good at it. You know, certain things like that. And this has just been my experience over time. And that's why I share this because it's like, listen, y'all, listen, like don't stick to the status quo. Don't let other people's opinions and judgment or perceptions, you know, limit you, put you in a fear of, well, what are others gonna think? I, I'm scared, you know, I don't want to get others upset. You know, who the fuck cares? Who the fuck cares? Do you, do you boo? And that's what I had to learn for myself, right? You know, even myself, my inner child had been damaged so much to the point where it's like, well, I can't do this stuff. I'm not meant to do this stuff. Everybody thinks this, everybody thinks that. And so many other, you know, things. And I had to really work on healing that inner child. And I still do because there's still times where I struggle with just being seen, with shining, with um, speaking my truth, which with sharing my story, with sharing the obstacles. Because even even with the stuff that I've been through, I like people will be like, you've been through all that and you look like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because we have a perception of how we're supposed to look when we've been through so much trauma. And y'all, we, we gotta we gotta stop that. We gotta, you know, own our power, step out and believe that even though we've been through a lot of bullshit, we've been through a lot of, you know, stuff that is toxic, that's traumatic, that's just really, really, you know, tough to deal with we can still shine we can still look good we can still be rich we can still pursue our dreams whatever that may be for you because that's what the fuck i'm doing and there's no race there's no rush to it right we have to just you know work on ourselves take the steps necessary trust the process enjoy the fucking journey because that's what the journey is all about is just living in this this realm of reality this world and just going with the flow you know going with the flow trusting the process having those goals having those you know dreams and you know and and taking a step one step at a time right listen to jordan sparks one step at a time okay <laughs> and the, this is the type of energy this is the type of music i'm talking about you know, there's there's deeper meanings within these these shows, these this this music. You know, all music, everything is conscious, right? There's not just one genre. You know, for me, I'm I'm you know a music artist, and I don't just 
you know, settle with pop. I don't just settle with rap. I don't just settle with, you know, this type of style. Obviously, I conform to different things. You look at Taylor Swift. She used to be a country singer. She she merged into a pop singer. You know, she does a little, you know, rappy rappy, you know, <laughs> stuff like that, right? And, and it's shown to us right in front of our faces. And that's where I say really just, just embrace it. You know, don't judge it. Don't criticize it because that's just a reflection of you. That's a reflection of what your deeper self really wants to show you, I believe, you know, and I was on this Zoom call earlier this morning with an amazing, amazing soul. And she was talking about a, a, a jealousy, right? When you, when you encounter or feel a type of jealousy towards someone, it's, it's actually a good thing, right? We look at it as a bad thing, but it's actually a good thing because like, it's just something you want as well too. And that's what we got to remember when you start to feel jealous or, you know, envious towards somebody. Well, maybe you, you want a lifestyle similar to them, too. And that's OK. You can do that. Right. Me, I want to be a fucking celebrity. And so me, I, I do my best to embody that energy. You know, I'll go get my nails done. They, I, they need to get done tomorrow again. <laughs> But I'll go get my hair done. You know, I do that for me. I do that because that's who I want to become. That's what I who I want to embody. And that's, it's a whole spiritual experience, right? Because that's what we're living. We're not only living a spiritual experience, but a human experience as well too. And remember, you know, challenges come and go. You know, life, life shit happens, right? But that's the beauty of it. Because we learn, we grow, we elevate, we evolve. Instead of staying stuck and dwelling on, you know, these certain things, these certain challenges, certain, you know, quatis, quatis. <laughs> you, you, you get my drift, right? Instead of staying the same, instead of staying in this comfort zone, challenge yourself. Because, you know, I, I told myself when I started this journey um, two years ago, it's like, what if, what if my fears are stopping me from my destiny? What if my fears are stopping me from my destiny? Yeah, I used to be afraid to, to make videos. I, I used to be so afraid to just speak up, speak my opinion, and just say certain things. But now, obviously now, it's like a whole, it's a whole different reality. It's a whole different view. It's a whole different confidence right and it's a whole different energy and it's it's super powerful and I'm, I'm super grateful for just all the challenges because that's what that's what helped me elevate that's what helped me evolve you know with his high school musical you know movie and the music that I'm drawn to and just it's not even just high school musical but that's like the base of this story right here like I um, when it first came out, like I didn't understand it how I understand it now, obviously. But it's like some people, you know, Sharpay Evans, you know, they're they're not gonna like it. They're not gonna want you to switch up and and do these things. They're want you gonna stay stuck. And we can we can look at we can look at certain things as as Sharpay, right? We can look at we can look at our, our family, we can look at our friends. We gotta look at whoever, and and I like to like also change the narrative to that because sometimes like for me on the outer outer side, like with me like like nice things, I like the outer side of me is like Sharpe Evans, but the inner side of me is is Gabriella, you know I'm uh, like I I can tend to be very quiet and shy, but just this soft energy, but I also can embody the Sharpe Evans, and we can look at that as you know, it's just different energies, you know, different, different perspectives in a way. And it's, it's super cool for me because it's like, wow, you know, maybe this is how others see me. This is how others perceive me. Cause I really don't know how others perceive me or see me. Right. But at the same time, that's really what doesn't matter. It's how we perceive ourselves. It's how we we embrace our inner child, our inner self, our inner energy, 
our energy, right? And just, and just, you know, accept it in a way that it's like, okay, this is, this is how I am. This is how I embrace myself. This is what I love about myself. These are the different aspects of myself, you know, due to different situations and challenges. Sometimes my Sharpe Evan comes out when I need to like get some shit, get some shit done when I need to, you know, <laughs> tell somebody what's up kind of thing. Okay. And then there's sometimes where my, my Gabriella, you know, she comes out as well too. I also got that Troy in there too. <laughs> But besides that, I really just wanted to get on here and share this message for you. Y'all, don't conform to the status quo. Be you in, in the way you feel you need to be you that, she, you, that your soul is calling for you to be. Because that's, that's what it is. You know, our human bodies can blend in, can, you know, can look a certain way, right? But it's truly our souls is what's, what's talking. It's truly our souls is what what matters embodies the energy that the 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 light around us i feel and so with that thank y'all for watching i really hope you you know got something from this message i hope i could inspire you and just lift your spirits if you really resonated with this message or just love this message please like comment or even share because i'm super grateful and also go check out my music it's on soundcloud currently right now um my newest song is called no limits because baby we're rising up over here <laughs> but yes go check out my new song no limits on soundcloud it's free to listen to um all you have to do is just you know go click on on the link i will add it to this subscription subscription description that's what it is description below you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm working y'all i'm working on it <laughs> but anyways y'all have a wonderful day evening morning wherever the fuck you are peace <laughs>